Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles Clash of the Dragons. We are in scenario number three, The Dragon Mothers, episode number three. And uh, as we can see, it's the end of the third week already and there's no sign of the red player. And it seems like they have even less towns and heroes than I do, meaning one town. So probably they are of no threat in this scenario and I shouldn't be playing so tight. So maybe I can just, uh, you know, uh, go now uh, already and try to put these three heroes together because of ambushes and uh, basically visit every single power up with all three of them and not care too much about these guys, right? I mean, if I go here, uh, we can see that they have manticores, which is okay-ish, but the hero is nothing and our kingdom army strength is better, so... There's really no point in uh, in uh, doing this. So, I guess I'll just go immediately down. Uh, you will visit that, of course, but then you will start returning back to the other heroes. The towns don't seem to be too important because they are villages and we cannot build anything, at least in the first town, but I assume the other ones will be exactly the same. And this town is already fully built, so I don't need to do anything there either. Meaning... Nothing to do really, right? Okay, so you go there and then back. You have the army, okay. Then you... Valita, okay. So you go down, open the door. This guy goes down already. He will buy some more unicorns I guess nothing else to do with you really and you will stay on that water wheel give me some more money maybe or I can try to make this guy quicker if I go up with him I can try that too yeah I don't need to move you in any particular direction, I guess. You won't be able to reach, I think. Maybe you will. Hard to say. Will you reach? Potentially. Hard to say, too. Okay. Still, I think that's the best course of action, so let's do it. Silver Pegasus Grove plus 5, so we should have a lot more here. Perfect. <laughs> I like it. Okay, go here, and then you can start going all the way back, basically, immediately. You are just one step short, which is not a biggie. You can be like that. And then I think I wanted you, yes, to take care of something for me. Whoops. Yeah, take them and go and take these as well, the two of them, perfect, and back. You are now at least a little bit quicker, go down. This guy, just hire all of them. You can, uh, hmm, that's a good question. Probably I should make a, a tour of the homesteads, basically. Yeah, seems like thing to do okay then your army is fine but we do want to probably do some upgrades I will probably keep the unicorns as they are but I will try to upgrade the homestead will that make any sense not too much right ah, still Let's take them for 7,000. Let's take, I don't know, seven of these so that uh, we can keep uh, all heroes quick at all times. And we can upgrade them as well. Why not take them, get rid of all the troglodytes, put them together, and this will leave for one extra hero. Okay, so Mephala just needs to do one step. Tarnum goes and gives her all the army. Like this. 
perfect and now we only need two really um, you can keep those you will upgrade them as well and then these and uh, what else it's a good question hmm. you just need one silver pegasi or potentially two Yeah, for that other hero, I mean, just in case. How many do you have? Six, that's good enough. And they need to be upgraded, but we don't have enough money, right? Yeah, I forgot about that. So, sure, you can, you can have them for now. And we'll need... So, these guys and these guys to protect them and then some one stacks how are we going to do the one stacks something like this them on the bottom you know, maybe here or maybe all the way down not sure still that's as much as i'm willing to do right now here we have valita okay valita you get the whole army right like this but please uh, okay let's try to gather them as well I leave one a silver peg aside there and then valita and coronius i think that's fine do i care about this i will take them just because we have uh, medusa stores yeah that's nice maybe we can get some nice money so one, two, three. And that should be enough, right? No losses. Level 10, so we can go to the university now. I will take the expert offense. And 3,000, is that enough? That's still not enough. Okay, okay, fine. Go this way. right so what do we do next this guy can make you quick basically right so here here and here and then switch and valita is now much quicker okay and ivor maybe you can go and do some fighting for me what would you fight i don't need to fight anything unless i want to take care of that actually yeah i i do and i do need uh, the water wheel too okay mefala uh, you have a quicker unit go there and i think that's it next turn i received a report from captain valita today about her progress everything was in order although she seemed to gloss over the facts of an ambush that claimed the lives of a few of her men I have decided to take a clue from Aspen. I recruited one of my sharpshooters to spy for me. I am sending the man to join Valita's forces under orders to keep a close eye on her. Once my spy departs, however, I immediately regret my decision. There was a time when I never would have considered such an underhanded practice, such as spying. Well, times change, don't they? don't think I need anything here, uh, but maybe I need to learn. Not sure if I was there already or not. Um, 10,000, so we can finally upgrade them. And uh, was there anything I needed to do here? Actually, I wanted to go there, but maybe, maybe we can wait. Don't need to go anywhere over there. So, yeah, I could go this way. Not really necessary again. So just uh, make me quicker. Even like this. Okay. And then Coronius is somebody who needs to get stuff from Mephala, right? Like this. Mephala, you will have. Only one quick unit. Coronius now can go down or can go do a little bit of fighting, get some experience. 
actually not such a terrible idea. It's only lots of them. We should be able to deal with that. If not, Ivor can Ivor can uh, help, right? If he does that and goes back, yeah, that should be possible. So give me everything and uh, give me all of these and just let me go. I do want to engage. That's 500. Okay, basic air magic and basic intelligence. I guess I take the intelligence because we do have air magic there. Yes. Okay. Then take that. Replenish your mana. Don't really need to. I would love to go there. Maybe a little bit later. I need to bring the army back to my main hero. I don't need you anymore. Okay. I think I may even have enough for that and go back. Not 100% sure. Okay, not quite, but um, good enough. Come closer. Then this guy has uh, the units, yes. Mephala, you can take those units and go back to town to upgrade them, basically. Oh, you will block the path if you do it like this. <laughs> and you will block the path too, excellent. Okay, so I guess uh, we prefer his movement to be unimpeded, like that. This guy is just gathering stuff. Okay, next. And she needs to take the army now. I'm not sure about those silver pegasi. Uh, these guys can be like that. And you over here. I think this is okay. Not sure, to be honest. Could try to make the silver pegasi one stacks. Uh, to be honest, if if we need to protect the sharpshooters. Okay, Valita, here we go, quest card. So, it is you, Valita, says the guard. Not far beyond this gate is one of those renegade towns. We tried to take it ourselves, but lost many men. We manned this tower instead, so they would be no threat to the elf king. No telling what kind of preparations they've made in the meantime, so if you want to pass, you best be prepared for a fight. Do you wish to pass now? Sure. I'm pretty sure there will be some kind of ambush here. I may actually want to wait, because this guy needs experience, right? He can't reach, though. Okay, Valita. Uh, there's experience, there's experience. So yeah, maybe, maybe we can just go. Okay, there it is. A tree falls, blocking the path behind you. Then the rest of the ambush is sprung as a green dragon storms out of the deep forest. The dragon is immediately followed by grand elves intent on your destruction. Ouch. Okay, one dragon and a lot of elves. Interesting. Well, the dragons can't reach us. And we probably need to do... Oh, I see. I cannot do... I cannot do what I wanted to do. So what I can do is teleport my big unit, block these two, shoot them, and then see what they do. Yeah, that sounds like a better idea. Unless the dragon, of course, gets morale or something stupid like that. Can I go here? Not really, right? Mm. That sucks. So speed 11, speed whatever. Do I just give them one uh, silver pegasi? They have uh, good morale. No, this pegasi reaches over there. So I can just wait. You reach here. Oh, fine. Then defend. 
Okay. What now? I mean, I need to take care of them anyway, right? So that they are not causing any more trouble. <laughs> they, they killed them anyway. Dang it. You guys are the worst. Okay. We lost two. Not pretty, but could be worse, right? There's some uh, experience waiting for us in the still water. So maybe I just do this. Level 10. And I start returning back, I think. Switch armies with the other hero. See what happens. Uh, I'll, I'll keep my money a little bit at least. Put them together. We have 30 already. Some on the way. That's okay. So... Let's finish the good old thing over there. Visit there. Now Tarnum. You can take that unicorn, right, from Mephala. Mephala needs to go back home. Tarnum is going down, I think. Is he? Not sure. He might be going actually for this. I think so. It's very likely that there is a there is an ambush there, but Tarnum can take care of himself, or maybe not. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm pretty sure we have something like 300. This is 150. Yeah, no need to spend too much on these guys. 55, I can kill one just like that, no problem. Okay, and then maybe one bigger ice bolt on the 5, wait for them. And that's it, right? No need to do anything else. So, plus one knowledge and go this way, and that means you can also go for that knowledge right now before I forget. Uh, we want to go back with you, and you are going this way, right? Unless I want to visit everything really with everybody together, which might be the best course of action just might be. Sure, go and uh, have a look. Oh, that's nice. This color is always nice. I'll leave the treasure chest for the... for Coronius, right? Ivor. You make him quick. And make her quick as well like this all right so who are you nobody <laughs> basically hmm yeah so you can stay here forever Okay, just stay there, don't do anything else. All of us, all three of us are going here. That's good. So how are you that fast? Do you have... No, you don't have tactics. Speed... 2,400. Oh, probably because of stables, I guess. Must be. What else? Okay. So can you finally go somewhere and get more experience? You could go here and fight there, but I want to wanna fight there first. So Valita, go away. You can go here, let's say. Ivor will give you all the army. 
and we all somehow don't have the <laughs> the artifacts so we'll do that in just a moment as well you can keep one quick unit like this stay in the town um, wanted the artifacts bam so coronius how does it look like looks pretty good i think i'll split the shooters because we can there are no super quick units there right can also do this first pretty okay i guess and here what seriously how is this happening slow them down and that must be more than enough right i mean d7 okay they will kill up something i will have to start here as well because um they are still speed seven Did we lose one? No, excellent. Okay, so I think 700, well, not really, 660. So we might be able to attack here already. Yes, we are. And there, again, block them, block them, defend, defend. Shoot the 30 and I think we are done, aren't we? Yes, we are. Basic water magic, that's nice. I mean, I would love to have the earth magic first. But water magic is not bad. Advanced intelligence will do. Oh, MG. People, you're so teasing me i'll take the intelligence still okay how about the town in this town we can actually build something oh wow who would have said <laughs> who would have said nobody that's who okay in that case you are level eight you still need to level up a little bit at least kind of want to give you i don't know it will be a risk you know whatever you get but it's a risk I'm willing to make. You will just be fighting, basically. Yes. Then she doesn't need any of that. I think this is blocked. We could try to give her a level up over there. Yeah, that's something I'm thinking of. Then Ivor is quick and he can make sure that there's nothing here. Correct. Okay. That's fine. Uh, advanced logistics. Perfect. Oh, we have logistics here. Oh, yeah. I want to give him logistics and air magic from there. That's what he will get next. Or, I mean, I have a lot of slots. Getting something like Earth Magic would be really beneficial <laughs> for us. These 21 need to go back home. There are even 10 over there. Beautiful. Can't upgrade, unfortunately. Don't wanna anyway. Let's take some dwarves. How many do we have already? I stopped keeping count. Okay, Tarnum. So you are the one going for this, right? If I'm not mistaken, correct. Prayer. All right. Did we have prayer before? I kinda don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but that was a that was a good thing. 
All right, tavern or town hall or something over here or a fort. I don't know. Let's start with the tavern and go all the way up, basically. Can we build a fort? Yes, we can build a fort. Okay, so I was wrong. Maybe in this town we can also build up. Only, only this one could be cursed. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Do I need to trade? Not yet. Next turn. And now we start here, right? We want uh, to gather as much experience as we can. That's fine. Then go this way and get more experience. Diplomacy and luck. What do you know? I'll take diplomacy. I mean, if we are going to cheese, <laughs> we might as well cheese... Uh, With diplomacy. How much? About a thousand more is needed. So you might go there. Tarnum still has a lot of armies, so he will be... Oh, now we trade prayer. That's also perfect. We'll take the army and we'll go to her. And she can do her job over there. Or I do it with Tarnum. Doesn't really matter, right? Does not really matter. Just switch. Valita. Lots of battle dwarves. Nothing to really look at. And how much do you want? 10 gems. Okay, well, that is too expensive. I am not going to give you 10 gems. You can forget that. <laughs> so, Valita, what's next? What's over here? Spell power and knowledge. Are you already good enough? Oh, you need two more knowledge. Which means maybe with the artifact, this is one knowledge only. Okay, so I need to get one knowledge somewhere so that he can visit that. Where would uh, where would I get one more knowledge? On a level up, maybe? Mm, that's kind of a long shot. I have been there. Come on, give me something to level up on. There's power. Oh, really? Well, I have to return and do everything again. <laughs> Looks like it. Fine. So you're not going to get that level anyway. Forget about it. Which means... You can go visit that, just like everybody else. And this guy just picks up the things over here. You will even go straight up. And Elishar, what were you doing? I forgot. We're going to town. But maybe you can scout over here a little bit. Not really, right? We want to figure out lots of infernal troglodytes. Yeah, we want to figure out. Oh, and there's my, there's my knowledge. Also, how how expensive the tree is, right? That's what we want to figure out. Build, upgrade. Nothing there. Next turn. Uh, there's that's so much money for a mystic pond, but uh, if I do that, it will be final, basically. And not have to do anything else over here. A fort already. That's fine. It somehow still feels very, very slow. I don't know why. Do I give stuff to Tarnum? I guess I give stuff to Tarnum. Switch, switch, and Valita goes there. Maybe even replenish some mana. And go back. You have still knowledge 9, OMG. Okay, so where have we not been yet? I have been there, I have been there. So this one is visited, this one is not. So I guess we go there, say hello to Silver Pegasi. 
uh, Ivor. That's all right, and you can stay in the town. We will not need your services anymore. Actually, maybe not in the town, but uh, in um, in here, right? Who else? Yes, you. That's fine. Let's see how well you can fight. You can fight pretty well. Elishar. Oh, a free level, basically. So that's definitely what something we want to use. And I think there's one more. This one is not visited plus one level, but I don't know. I don't know what they want. I think we sh already figured it out. Does it say like plus one level visited, plus one level not visited? And does this one say gems? Yeah, plus one level for 10 gems. And this one says nothing. And this, so these are two free level ups. Very good. Okay, next turn. All right, so we said on day seven, we are placing him here. Let's see what he can do there. We also will build something for a city hall. So let's say mage guild. In here, we don't need anything. Oh, there's a fountain of fortune. Yeah, we definitely don't need that. <laughs> and uh, it could be a plague month, basically, next day. So I might want to buy out anything that I think is necessary, like these 20 guys over here. So let's take them. The rest doesn't matter. And look, we have 40 and 55. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much enough. And this one is a free level up too. Wow. So many free level ups. Okay, so as I said, go to the town. Just take one quick unit and go back on day one. You'll start here and then go over there. Fine. Um, yeah, what else? These two are already more knowledgeable. So I'll start here. We don't have Maslow yet, do we? Uh, Expert Earth and... Oh, we do have Maslow, okay. So if I just have this Solar Pegasi, I should be able to go first, right? And uh, slow them down. Let's see if I'm indeed correct. I am. Kill one. Kill the second. That was not too crazy. That one is visited already. Interesting. That one's not, but I will, I will do a something like this. Shrine of Magic Gesture was not visited. Somebody will have to go there. Uh, we can give some attack skill to her. Somebody should be should be staying there. I don't know. Who will that be? But um, somebody. <laughs> Maybe Ivor will go all the way up there. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Okay, 65 gold. Let's just end the turn and see what happens. My spy's first report is rather mundane. There has been no strange behavior from Captain Valita, and so far she has held her own during combat. Her men, however, respect her skills, but feel distant from her. They don't feel that she cares for them, or even for herself. Apparently, in combat she turns wild as if releasing all the emotions that she keeps bottled within. I know from experience that bottled anger can be dangerous when finally released, but oftentimes that rage can't be directly only toward your enemy. I guess can't be directed only toward your enemy or something? Not sure, that sentence is strange. There have been times where the Berserker's fury has claimed the lives of friends as well as enemies. 
Okay, no plague. We like that. So take this, visit, and uh, you have all the mana that you need. And you need to go this way, of course. Okay, then you this way as well. Visit. You have a possibility to go there. Fine. Um, all right, so let's uh, continue building here. Marketplace first. And then we go with Tarnum. Tarnum has the army. Do I want to le uh, level up on the pack of unicorns? What what do you have? Basic diplomacy. No, I want to level up on Coronius. So that's Tarnum, that's Coronius. Okay, so Coronius, uh, take the army from Tarnum. Tarnum will... Uh, he has visited that already. Okay, so he will visit here. And then he might uh, want to go for that, right? That's his job. You are going this way. And we still have enough money. So let's start buying everything we can, including you. These are not upgraded, right? Correct. So we give them to you. Perfect. And you go and have a look in the Shrine of Magic Gesture. Uh, you have nothing and we wanted you to go get some bonuses. Do you have logistics? Yes, you do. So maybe you can get expert? Yes, you can. Interesting. That sounds really good. Maybe visit that even. Who knows what else you might get. So 58. And that means I need how many more? 42, right? So that's uh, that's almost all of them. <laughs> nice. And we'll go with her later, basically. You can kind of exchange a few things. Oh, really? <laughs> Fine. Whatever. Don't want to build, don't want to do anything else, and turn, and let me hire two more, and this, that's all right, upgrade everything else. So where was uh, Rex the Seer? Over here, yeah, that's easy, right? So. Let's give the stuff to this guy, to Elishar. He is super quick, by the way. So, 100, yes. Like this. And now he goes straight over there. Perfect. You go back. This guy tells me what's inside, a lightning bolt. I think we do have a lightning bolt already. Yes, we do. Okay, so what shall we do here? We go straight for the pack of unicorns, right? They are protected, they are protected, yes. Let's do this. I do want to fight. That's 17 of them, by the way. So, what's the best course of action? Slowing them down will not work that much. Cloning would work, and you can replenish your mana. Let's clone. Let's have some fun. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, and start shooting. How many you can kill? Quite a few. Oh, wow. That was amazing. Basic Earth Magic, that's what I wanted to see. And now I want to go back for some mana, right? Oh yeah, I see, we actually... We actually get a lot more because I have um, intelligence, expert intelligence for that matter. Perfect. 
So you haven't been here yet. Nice. Did you get more? I kind of don't remember now. <laughs> and I wanted definitely for sure to take a look over there and I forgot to do that. My bad. Um, go here. Okay, I have just one unit. Is that... Is that throng gonna work for me? Hmm. Wanna go wanna go for the air magic and logistics soon. He is he is level 10 already, so I don't have to fight too much more. I can start the turning back basically. Which is exactly what we will do. And you just take that um, Scholar. I really hope there's no stupid ambush there. There isn't. Oh, and that's oh, that's what we needed exactly. Oh wow, that helps <laughs> because now I have ten um, ten knowledge and can go and have some fun next turn. So over here, Misfortune, we already have a War Machine Factory. I could use actually a War Machine Factory. I could actually use all of them. Just, you know, for purposes. <laughs> and don't need this, don't need that, it's day three. Yeah, I just I just go. So you have been here. Whoops. You have been here and you need to go there now. Perfect. Go there. You go down. You can uh, start going down, but first tell me what's in here. I really want to know. So there's plus one luck, defense and attack skill. Uh, knowledge is nice. Archery. So how much for knowledge? 10,000. Can't afford it yet and um, I mean it's okay. Don't really have to. Give me some army. So that I can fight a little bit. This will do. And we go this way. Uh, who are you? You were going to bring army, right? To this guy. You are going to stay here forever. Alright, so he seeks 100 battle dwarves. And they give me 20 war unicorns. Well, thank you very, very much. Let's take also all the shooters. By the way, they do have a good hero as well, Jedit over here. But I still have more towns. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. We'll see. I mean, it's already the second month and uh, we haven't seen them at all. So they must be probably blocked somewhere. Otherwise, I can't explain it. Okay, then you have been here. Everybody was there. Okay, so now I need uh, you to go there and everybody else can do something else. So here, here, give him just that so that he has 10 and 10. Perfect. And he needs nothing more, right? I just want to keep him quick yes yes good job Tarnum let's go visit it visit it visit it is this visit it uh, no but doesn't matter doesn't make any difference here or maybe here would be a quicker way Okay, then you can uh, fight for yourself. There is nothing there. Just a small fight with the Grand Elves. I'll get all the morale I can for that fight. Potentially, 
Potentially doesn't matter because he is going here as well. And he will give uh, much more army to you and then it will be done. Mm -hmm. I forgot these guys. Not that it matters too much. Okay, what are the uh, okay? That's the only quest I was just going to ask. What are the other quests? We don't need to go there with anybody anymore. Uh, so you could uh, potentially take Ivor's place over here. And I want to know if there are, uh, you know, good spells. So maybe we should start uh, leveling up mage guilds. Which means you will not go there, you will go here. Yes. Next turn. Okay, so there's uh, lots of centaur captains. You have just one unit, Tarnum, but that unit must be enough, right? Start the combat and slow them down and let's see how the ballista performs. It performs quite well. Uh, not really what I wanted to see, but fine. So, speed four. I think I can afford to wait once more. They shouldn't get too crazy. Exactly, and I even get everything back. Nice. Now we go here. Can any of this die from that? I don't think so. They shouldn't be doing enough damage. Yeah, definitely not. 73, 200, yeah. GG. <laughs> Let's flag that and go here. Okay, then we have been there. Now we are going for the Grand Elves. But first... Is it... Switch over here, give her everything. Valita, this should be a lot uh, easier now. I do want to engage them, why not? I mean, can't be difficult, right? Excellent. How are we doing with time? We still have uh, some time, okay. Now, level 10, this is a free level up. Uh, we are not going to do too many more battles, are we? That one we are ignoring because it costs 10 gems. Are there any other along the way that I have may have missed? Probably not. Okay, so we start with this one. You can also go here, go there. Then this guy wants to go back where he belongs, I guess. <laughs> Who are you, Mephala? Where were you going? Back, right? Exactly. You go back. And this guy... Day 5. I mean, he can stay where he is, basically. We don't need to do anything else. There are no units here. There is no danger of... Um, you know what? Uh, and... Yeah, just stay there. Can't build a capital, obviously. A resource silo will be needed. That's it, next turn. Aspen approached me early today with his chessboard under one arm. I'm not in the mood for a game today, I said. Oh, well, these days I just play you for the opportunity to talk, Aspen said, sitting across from me. He set the board between us and slowly placed the pieces on the board. Do you have something to say? Aspen smiled, made the first move. I always lost quickest when he made the first move. <laughs> I have a concern about one of your captains, Aspen said. Which one? I asked, although I suspected. Valita. 
I'm handling it, I said sharply, letting him know that I would hear nothing more about it. Aspen nodded and waited for me to make my move. Knowing the old elf, he would not let the matter of Captain Valita alone for long. Okay, so what do you think they will give me? The young man at the door smiles as you walk up. I can tell that you're worthy of the master's in instructions. Please wait here. The door closes, then immediately opens again, and you see the same young man standing there with a fake white beard. <laughs> I am ready to teach you my secrets, he says. You try not to laugh at the man's ridiculous disguise. Do you enter the hut for five defense skill? Of course I do. Okay, that, that, that was nice. Man, that was nice. Okay, do I? No, I don't need to go there. We can only reach level 18 and... Uh, we are going to do that definitely. So what's the quickest way over here? Going back. Fair enough. Right, so... Shall we actually count them up? I mean, this is one. Second. Well, whatever. I want that expert earth. So let's go there no matter what. Oh, this one also needs 10 gems. Never mind. I must have... No, I, I saw correctly. What has happened? I somehow... Yeah, plus one for 10 gems now. Does it change like every month or something? It did say just plus one level before, didn't it? How about these ones? Plus one level, plus one level. Okay, these ones. I'm a little bit surprised now. You are probably commenting in the comments already that I have not seen it correctly and uh, I should clean my eyes. But okay, let's go this way and then we'll, we'll go that way. So, Ivor, I totally forgot where you were going. Uh, let's say there. This one and this one are already on their places, and you need to exchange a little bit uh, of this for Mage Guild level 3. Which gives us Hypnotize, Frostring and an Earthquake. I think we have all of that, and it's not really useful anyway. Uh, it can stay there. Let's check the heroes inside the town. We have Diplomacy. Guy and her don't really need any of that. So, next. You go forward, get that level up. Okay. You can finally upgrade those Pegasi. That was long, long overdue. We will also upgrade now all these unicorns because it doesn't cost much. And this army is more than enough. I will keep the rest of the money to build up this town, basically, right? Do I need a citadel? Not really. Do I need magic level 4? I would definitely like to have magic level 4, but it will cost me, right? It will cost me dearly. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And, uh, like, 2 of them. Major level 4, please give me something sweet. Slayer and Counter-Strike. If I'm not mistaken, we do have both already. Slayer and Counter-Strike. Yeah, we do have both. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> that's a bummer. Day 7. Don't need the Centaurs anymore, to be honest. Do I have any one stacks? I don't have any one stacks. Let's just take a couple, right? To die for, for a good cause. And you can start going, you know, this way. 
and go go there maybe go for the university oh no i know uh, we wanted to go here for the air magic but first i want to did we not level up oh no because we didn't uh, get the um the tree so i actually want to fight don't i can I fight somewhere over here? Not exactly. I guess I'll take that first. And uh, you can learn something on... Don't need anything else. You will stay here and pick up... No, you will also go first to get uh, more movement. Everybody goes there first. Stay here. That's it. Next turn. Psychic Elementals growth. That's nice. Do I need that? No, but I will get uh, those gems if I can. Uh, right, so now I have three pieces of Mercury. That's not too shabby could get some experience there as well which will help even so I'll do it and then this one and or go here you know like fight or go more further here I think I'll go further do you have uh, no you don't have intelligence let's take that how much for your earth magic? You can potentially get it very soon. Maybe something like that, you know. We'll see, unless there's a surprise waiting for us there as well. well let's take everything from here and there. Let's take everything from here and give it to the other hero before we do the rest. You can start picking up the shooters. And... Man... Do I see any... Maybe I first scout over here, see if I can get any free mercury and then we'll do something else so let's start building stables and, st and, and such you stay where you are next turn oh did you see that finally we have company finally sefinroth with no army whatsoever well that's just great on the second day of the second week of the second month <laughs> Interesting. Let's do a homestead. So where is everybody? You are here. You're definitely gonna just uh, do upgrade and take the rest in ten of them and maybe one more and maybe two more. Oh, we had already a lot. Okay. So one here, one here. Something like that, doesn't matter, we have tactics. Okay. Please gems, no luck. I don't know who will go do the fighting. Well, that was less than optimal, but advanced diplomacy is nice. I will have air magic and logistics and space for one more. Which is okay, I guess. So, she goes there or he goes there? I guess we we give the honor to, to our main guy. What do you think, guys? Advanced Earth. She also got uh, diplomacy. Wow. No joke. Okay. I guess I'll just go here. See what happens, and we move this guy over there. She's already sped up. She doesn't have mass slow though, so I'll skip this one for now. I 
can get a little bit of experience on the back of these guys. Do I want to do this? Sure. Do I see correctly? <laughs> Reluctantly your troops enter the tomb, finding the power of the Dragon Father. But such a despicable act has ruined your army's morale. Well, doesn't matter. I mean, I get the freaking combination artifact. Is that even allowed in Chronicles? I'm not even sure. It is. Look at freaking OMG. Look. <laughs> Whoa, what? Plus six to all primary skills. All troops are immune to level one to four level spells. But it's definitely not giving us only plus six. It's giving us like seven to twenty-three is sixteen, right? Yeah, sixteen to power, sixteen to defense, six, sixteen to all skills. OMG. <laughs> uh, what we don't find, right? In in the warrior's tomb. I didn't know you can find combination artifacts there. That's that's a little crazy, isn't it? That is indeed a little crazy. Wow. Just wow. Well, we will for sure not have any problems with anything anymore. That's for sure. No money. <laughs> Just as I said that, right? Have we been here? Yes, okay. This that this is really crazy, I mean. How on earth? Oh, and we are also out of time, aren't we? Okay, so let's try to finish it somehow. Uh, we need uh, a bit more money, so that's 17. We need three, 300 more, right? Can you get it somehow? Not sure. Just go back. Can you get it somehow? Probably not. So let's just get those go here. Uh, we still have only three pieces of mercury. I guess I will stay here with you. Next day we have enough money and with you maybe we will trade. I need to go through this garrison. Oh, now we can see the amount of troops and it's laughable. I should definitely go here next and look, there's a second university. So much to do, so little time. <laughs> so little time. Okay, I guess we have to call it a day here. So let's save. This was part 54. It's the end of it. And when we come back, we'll... Uh, Finish scouting over here, level up what we can with the remaining heroes and then probably go... Well, we can't go there, so the only way to go is here. Yeah, we'll go there and see what happens. We'll leave um, probably Valita and Coronius behind to protect the towns. One on this side, one on the other side and Tarn will go that way. At least I think that makes sense. Let me just check. Uh, next level on Valita will be Expert Earth Magic. That's important. And on this guy we still need to try a little harder. But after we have Expert Earth Magic we'll go and get the uh, basic air and basic logistics for both, right? Because they don't have any of it. Yeah, neither of them has it. Perfect. Okay, thank you very much for watching, people. See you next time. Bye-bye.